Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I am doing another Neville Says. I haven't done one in a while so I feel like it's time and this is probably one of his most popular quotes. You've probably heard it and that's what I want to talk about today. It is on persistence. It's a good one so stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi. I am a qualified life coach and author. I'm also super passionate about the amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change your life, you have to change the story. And if you want to create the most amazing life, you need to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that is why I am here. Thanks to these teachings, I'm now telling myself much better stories and I want to help you to do the same. If you would like further support with this, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course or if you just want to stay connected I am on Instagram. All of those details are below. I am doing another Neville Says and in fact I've decided that next week I'm going to do all Neville Says videos from Neville Goddard's lecture series which I have been listening to and loving and constantly quoting and writing down because so much of what he says is so amazing. Where the inspiration came from for this one is I was listening to the lecture series and then on my channel somebody had made a comment is what I'm teaching just to lie to yourself and it was a, it's a good comment you know I mean it's a relevant question and it's good to be skeptical you know be skeptical don't believe everything you hear read or you know that's the whole point of the law of assumption is be very careful about the assumptions that you're making you want to test everything out do not take anyone's word for anything test all of this stuff out for yourself and if it works awesome if it doesn't well, I don't know what to say about that because <laughs> you're the god of your reality. So it'll just, you know, you can't help it. You have no free will over the fact that you're the god of your reality and whatever you imagine to be true is going to be true. So that's the overriding arching principle to all of this is there's no way to get around that. Be very careful about what information you take on and what you believe and, and what you assume. So skepticism is good. I am a skeptic as well and I think that's a healthy quality to have. So this person wrote on my channel, is what I'm teaching just lying to yourself? Good question and yeah it does feel like that a lot of the time especially if you're new and you don't understand the teachings and you haven't read Neville's books or listened to the lectures and you don't really understand you know what's going on and where all of this stuff is coming from it can be very like oh this is just all a bunch of bullshit so you, what you're just telling stories to yourself and then that creates reality like whatever like I get that it sounds nuts I do get that I think that this quote is really powerful so I'm just gonna stop talking now and give you the quote. It's taken from Neville Goddard's lecture series volume one. I highly recommend it. An assumption though false, if persists in, will harden into fact. That is the principle. If you've been studying this for a while, I'm guessing that you've heard that, you know that, you understand that. Uh, for those of you who knew, who are new, perhaps you've heard that and you're still working with and tr still trying to figure out what the hell that that means. As some of you already know, I'm a writer, I'm an author, I've published a number of books. I love language. I am a language fiend because I believe that it is words that can point us in the direction of where we want to go. Words are not the answer. So things that I'm saying, things that Neville is saying, it's not the answer. The answer answer is within you. The answer is in the doing, the action and applying of these teachings into your life, like practically putting it into action. The words that you're hearing or reading or listening to, they're just pointing you in the direction of where you've got to go. Now what's happened with language over the years, it's been diluted. So the original words and their original meanings have been taken out of context over many centuries of times to the point where a lot of the words that we hear and use today in today's language kind of lost. So we've lost the original meaning meanings of these words. So what I wanted to do with this particular quote is go back to the original meanings of each word so we can get a better understanding of what this amazing quote is saying. So I'm just going to get my phone. So I use an app called Etym Online. Etymology is the study of language. Etym Online is the app where you can put a word in and it'll give you the original meaning where that word originally came from. A lot of it is Latin, Old French, Old English. Let's start with the word assumption. Originates from the 1300s. The reception uncorrupted of the Virgin Mary into heaven and directly from Latin assumptionem, a taking up, receiving, acceptance, adoption, take up, 
take to oneself. So that's the original definition of a, an assumption. It's where we take something on, we're receptive, we're receiving something, bringing it into our being to take on oneself. We're bringing it into consciousness. Now let's go to the word fact. This is where the word fact has been taken out of context and the original meaning has been diluted over the centuries to the point where we've lost the original meaning of the word fact. And this is going to help make this quote a lot more relevant. So the word fact comes from the 1530s, meaning action, anything done. From Latin, factum, an event, occurrence, deed, achievement. In medieval Latin, also state, condition, circumstance. Literally, thing done. Now, the main modern sense of thing known to be true is from the 1630s, from something that has actually occurred. So in a way, the word fact has kind of been diluted because originally it means something is done. It's occurred. It's an event. It's an achievement. And what we have taken fact to mean is truth, as in that's the way things are. It is slightly different. We want to go back to the original meaning of the term fact, an event, an occurrence, something has happened, the thing is done. And we do that by holding an assumption in consciousness, then it will harden into an event or an achievement or something out in our physical reality. That is the original meaning of the term assumption and fact, and that is how they work together. An assumption is something that a thought, a something that we have taken on, we take up in ourselves. We persist with that assumption, we hold it in consciousness, and then that becomes an event. It occurs in physical reality. That's what fact means. Fact is that it's occurred in physical reality. It's a physical manifestation of something that we've been holding in consciousness. When you are going about your day, you want to be aware of what are the assumptions that you're making, not only about the world around you, but the people that you're involving yourself with, but also about yourself. Everything comes from the assumptions that we're holding in consciousness. So what are the assumptions that you're holding? Are they favorable? Are they unfavorable? Because those assumptions will eventually harden into fact, meaning they will eventually harden into outer experiences that we will have in our reality. So just because something has happened in our outer reality doesn't mean that that's true for us. That's a, that was a fact that was created from an assumption that somebody else had. Nothing has to be true for us other than what we decide to be true for us. And then we hold that assumption. We hold what we want to be true for us about not only ourselves and others and the world around us. We hold that assumption. We take that up in ourselves, in our consciousness. And then we know that if we persist in holding that in our consciousness, it has to harden into fact. It has to become an event or an occurrence in our outer reality. That's how this works. That is the law. That is the principle of the law of assumption, which Neville talks about in so many different wild and wonderful ways. And just before I finish up, why it feels that you're lying to yourself is because you've become conditioned to believing that the reality outside of you is what's real and that imagination is false. That's why this feels can feel like a lie. So if this feels like a lie, it's just because you're placing the value on what is not real and you are ignoring what is real. So imagination is real. Reality is the reflection of what is real. Imagination is real. That is what's real. Reality is the reflection of imagination, which is real. So reality is the reflection of what is real. I hope that has helped clarify that. You're not lying to yourself. You're just persisting in something that is not yet fact. It is not yet an event in outer reality, but it will be if you persist in it. All right, please remember you are the creators of your reality. You are the superstar of this show. You are the writer, the director, the producer, the actor of this movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have the most amazing life. This is my wish for you. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and share with family and friends. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.